What is good, guys? We are here with a. Uh, I love League vs. Aureus. And Aureus just played vs. Uh, well, you for World Cup and brought the same team. So I kind of know what sets he has and stuff. So he had an Ash Greninja. I think a Spadaf Amungus, a Scarf Garchomp, a Defox Scizor. A Defox Scizor, um, the Zapdos revealed Heat Wave. I don't remember if it revealed anything else. And well, uh, I love League Spring, this pretty cool team that he used with ABR and OST semifinals. He might have changed up some sets. Got this nice. Whew. I think this Mew had Ice Beam, but I don't remember 100%. Not 100% sure. Or oh, was that ABR's Mew that had Ice Beam? So we see Assault with Torn go for. I think it's Assault West. Go for a knockoff on the Mew, turn 1. Mew gets up the rocks. Exactly, he had rocks on Mew, and then. I think it was. Um, the other moves were like Roost and Will Wisp and. I don't know if it showed the last move in the other game that I just recorded. It's kind of funny. I just recorded Wellu for OUPL, then I recorded Wellu was Aureus for World Cup, Pokemon Online World Cup, and now Aureus was Isle of League for OUPL again. Okay, like these guys don't give me time to breathe. Like I can't even make thumbnails. This is exactly what happened in Aureus was as well. You went for Wisp on the opposing Mew, and both Mews got burned. But yeah, League's Mew still has lefties, which is kinda... So League has the advantage in this scenario, you can get out the Defog, and he can go into... Tornado... Ah, oh, he can go into Gaspar on here. Yeah, exactly. As it spikes... Specs, Spikes, Ash, Grin. I think it was Specs from the damage it did in the last game, and that's like just the most... Common set on Ash, Grin in general. And you can go for like Skull here, yeah, exactly, trying to burn the Amoongus. So you can try to put something to bad. I don't think it's worth for League to try to pivot into Tapu Bulu on a potential poison move. That's not worth it at all. I mean he can, because I think he's clicking Spore here 100%. I don't think he's clicking such bomb, because he has a Metagross. Okay, he doubles into Gren. That would have covered the Metagross. That's okay, he loses the lefties on the Zapdos. The knockoff Torn is just a great pivot, putting in that work for League. Oh, League is Easy's teammate. I just uploaded Easy's match. I mean, by the time this will go up, I will up also uplo have uploaded Aureus vs. Will you for PU World Cup? And what else did I record? Oh, yeah, Will you vs. Rory for OUPL. Oh, so it's Toxic Among Us. I didn't see that revealed in the other game. And there's no, it's Spadev. And it had obviously Spore and Giga Drain. I think that's all I found out. Maybe I. Maybe it showed if it had Clisma got Sludge Bomb, I don't remember. But the Torn being toxic means you can always bring that in on Among Us. And Aureus always has to double, because like... He, he basically has something to switch in on Spore now. Okay, he also had the Mew. So this time he gets the burn. He brought in the... Gaster on a Zapdos. Zapdos cannot touch it. Zapdos doesn't have talk, because he gets Heat Wave. Uh, Roost and a Discharge of Volt Switch or T-Bolt. And then either... um. Either HP Eyes or Defog, but it's already Defog Scissor, so I don't know if he's double Defog. I think it's HP Eyes and Zapdos, that makes more sense to me. As it's Curse Gastron, he used his worst ABR, yeah. He also gets the burn early on the Zapdos, the league is looking pretty good in this matchup. Uh, going for Earthquake, but the Among is getting some nice damage off because it's the death of Among Us. And you can go into Torn here. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you can always make this Torn play because he's poisoned and he cannot get Spore. Like, this is so great for League. I think he wins this. He can go for Hurricane or U-turn here. I think Hurricane is fine. He makes the U-turn play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. U-turn was fine. It was kind of aggressive, but he he had pivots. He had pivots. He could have gone into Mew or Metagross. Like Mew, if you break the spore, Metagross if you break the Sludge Bomb or something else like Giga Drain. Like now he just goes back into Tornadoes like every time. The spike is. Uh, not really that annoying at the moment. It's only one spike. If there would be multiple, it would be annoying. I mean, it's a little annoying, obviously, but like. 
Yeah, this is just another. I think he's gonna hurricane this time because last time he U turned. But uh, yeah, Leek is like an aggressive player. I can see him U turning again. I played League on ladder once early XY and a man had a hooper and he doubled on me and I had like no hooper switch ins. That was a really close game, it was pretty cool. Aegis Slash was still allowed, I think. Yeah, yeah, he had Aegis Slash versus my FD Scissor at the end. That game was cool. Yeah, okay, he makes the Q-Turn play again, catches these up, was nice, nice. He has to bring in... I mean, gets to bring in either Mew or Gastron again, like... I mean, Aureus always has Amoongus to bring in on if Lee goes into Gastrodon. Then Lee always has Torn to bring in on Amoongus, so this is kinda... I think Lee is in the better position though, yeah. I don't know if this has... Um, I don't I don't think this has HP Fire. Oh, it has HP Fire! Okay, okay. I mean, it makes some sense that it has HP Fire the way he played this. He just brought this out and there was a Scizor. And... Okay, okay, so the Greninja can go for Flinch here. Because the Gastron is forced to click Recover. And he gets a crit. If he gets the Flinch, it's gonna be bad, but he doesn't get it. But he can go for Flinch again. Like, this is basically what Specs Gren does pretty well. Versus, like, the mons like Toxapex, Gastron that are passive and have to click Recover. We can just fish for the Flinch. And if you get it, you're in a really great position. I mean, I love how he played that, though. He went in the Metagross, knowing he would lure in the Scizor, and he went for HP Fire, knowing the Metagross eats up the u from Scizor anyway. You know what would you know have been a fire play? Hard HP, if he HP fired his Zapdos on the incoming Scizor. Whew, that would have been too icy, but he had no reason to make that play. But, whew, man. Man's making plays, though. Like, that team is cool. Like I don't even I don't even know. He doesn't need a fighting move on his Bulo if he has HP fire Metaros for Pharaoh and Sis. I mean Bulo doesn't beat Sis anyway, but like HP fire is nice on Metaros. If he gets rid of Pharaoh on his Gastron, like that opens up his Gastron. Just, just in general. Looking at what that would like how League's team is built, just trying to see the patterns if that makes any sense. That if that's even a sentence. So that was a pretty nice double. Into Greninja, they are breaking the opposing mute, so preventing a defog there. But Tornadus eats this up. He can. Um, I don't think it's worth to stay in here. I think you can just go back to Zapdos, and he's just gonna U turn out. He goes Guard Chomp, okay. Get some chip, but Regenerator is busted, so Tornadus back at okay, like 80% or something. 81, something like that. Yeah, yeah, this, this Scarf is Scarf. Um, I don't know if it has Poison Jab. I know it has Earthquake, obviously, and a Drink Step. But yeah, Earthquake only got revealed in the last game that I was watching. Yeah, he scouted for the for the Poison Jab slash Toxic. Ooh. Oh, I think he just predicted a double into. Into what? Maybe into Scizor or maybe into something else. But at least, like this way, Lee gets the default off. I don't. Th I don't know. He, I don't think he scouted for Toxic. I think he scouted for. I think he breaks the double switch. Okay, Greninja going for Spike there, which is obviously a great play by Aureus, because this way he can at least put some pressure on Lee. Grassy Terrain is helping the Mew out. I love defensive teams with leftovers and grass too, and you just get so much health back. That's a clutch, you will always want to grant because now he's getting chip damage on that. He can go into Gastro now, Tornadus. I think Torn is better. Okay, guess Gastro. I mean, yeah, Torn was at 80, so it probably would have gone to it KO. That's a higher roll, I think. Yeah, so he's going for the flinch here, obviously. But this time, uh, League actually beats the Ninja 1v1 as long as he doesn't get flinched. 
Because this time he has the burn working for him, getting them flinch, getting them that chip damage. Um, even this could have then had bird, but even then there's no point in for League in staying in here. So he's just gonna go back to Torn, get that juicy regenerator, get action going, and um, there's no point in for his in staying in either. I think he has to double out. I mean, he doesn't have to. Nah, he doesn't have to double out. But I think he can go up to see and go for roost. Okay, never mind. Never fucking mind. I forgot this is sub SD Bulu. I think it's sub SD. So yeah, I'm um, already probably saw a league with ABR and he knows the set. So I completely understand his play there. My my play was just like kind of thinking aggressive because in my opinion, Lee, like Oris is kind of in the back. But obviously, league's play is a really nice play. Like, League's play makes a lot of sense. Like, he doesn't lose much health. Because he has the grassy terrain. It is the move bull. I don't remember if it's Continental Crush or if it's. Um, I think it's Continental Crush, actually. Z Stone Edge. Can also be the superpower. Yeah, I really don't remember. But yeah, this time League is gonna go in the torn, pretty sure. What the fuck? Dude, League is on some high. League is on some drugs. He just that play was. Whew. I mean, I I I can kind of understand his play, but I don't think he. I don't think it was necessary to make that play, but. Well, wait. The Amongus showed HP fire probably. Gigadren and has spawned Toxic. So never mind. I take that back. So. League's play was nice because the Bulu, the Bulu would have lived every move. I don't think Demongus actually has Sludge Bomb, so like HP Fire only does like 30, 40 maybe. So I I can kind of understand League's play a bit better now. But yeah, he got in the Scissor after the Greninja got killed off, and got it healthy with the Roots. Brings in the Scarf Jump on the Heat Wave, and he can Dragon Claw or he can Toxic Break in the Bulu. So what is the best play here if you leak, if you leak? Oh yeah, the Bulu is back at full thanks to Horn Legion Grace Turin. I probably make the Bulu play exactly. Hmm. Cause like that covers everything, like even great play by Ori is there going for Toxic. Like even if he gets you with the Toxic, it's not like you lose that much from doing, like by doing that. Bulu already got that clutch kill for League. Like, like I mentioned, the way this game was going, uh, he kind of had the upper hand, even though there's a spike on his side. Like, Aureus couldn't really do anything. Like, every time Amoongus was in, he could just bring the Torn for free. And now this is us getting burned. Uh, it's crippled. So there goes the Metagross check. It's like, even though the Metagross has an HP fire anyway, now it's completely crippled. Like, it's not checking Metagross anymore. <laughs> Like, what I'm trying to say is, I figured that, or probably Leak, well I should say Leak, figured that Aris is gonna make an aggressive play sooner or later, and his play was kinda no, it was kinda no risk, but high reward if it works play, cause it wasn't really a risk, cause like his Bulu would only still be at 30 or 40% if he stays in on HP fire, I think, after Grazy Terrain. I mean, it was kind of risky, but not like, not like, not like a play he loses if he doesn't get it correct. It was just a. He was spec. Dude, what's the English word for that? He goes for outrage. It does nothing. So that's more like, a, probably more like a bolt mew. To check my sham. Uh, check opposing Metagross. And yeah, Grassy Turin helping the Mew out. Yeah, I can't really find the correct English word for what I was looking for. He was speculating on how oh, it's making an aggressive play. With that Bulu. Dang, like League is such a god. What the fuck? Oh yeah, League was top top four OC. That's, that's really great. It's a good run. 
and his series versus IBR was pretty dope too but like even though game one game one was kind of weird um i rewatched game one the other day but let me concentrate on this one he's gonna defog here obviously and Ori's gonna go for a roost or volt switch oh he doesn't have volt switch that was that was uh, Ori's opponent oh leak here leak has volt switch Yeah, the bullet is in, and you can go for a uh, horn leech or SD. If he goes for SD, yeah, 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 he can go for he can go for a Z move now. That's exactly how this Among Us died in the other game. It died to Z con and the crush from a Breloom, but he makes the um. He doesn't know if it killed. I think it would have killed because this Among Us was more with death. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can confirm it. It doesn't have giga it doesn't have sludge bomb or Cleasma. So Leak's play actually makes a lot more sense now that we have that confirmed. That with the whole leech play earlier. Knowing he would live any hit from Among Us. Mm -mm. Yeah, like Aureus teams like this is burned, the the scissor is burned, and zap this is burned. And the Mungus is burned, so like everything's getting whittled and shit and has to go for this has to go for roost, yeah, softball, same thing. Yeah, he will roost again there, predicting what? Like everything's already burned besides the chomp. Like he's not going chomp on the Mew. So okay, he reveals his last move is psychic to hit toxic packs and what else does it hit? It just gets chip damage off versus a lot of stuff neutrally. Versus stuff like Tapu Fini, it gets some chip off. Because you can't Willow with Fini in Misty Terrain. Kind of like knock off a Mew, but um, then you get walled by Pex, so Psychic makes sense, obviously. Yeah, it makes sense in this matter. Like his team doesn't have the best ways of killing Toxic Packs. I mean, he yeah, can go for Flinches with Greninja. He can go for like, I don't know if he has Discharge on his Zapdos, but he can go for Discharge Paras, he has that. Get the Spadef drop now, he's fishing for that. He's gonna just go for rocks again and keep fishing for Spadef drops. I think League has to switch out eventually if he keeps getting Spadef drops. And he gets a crit to... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay, I didn't pay attention. I was looking at the chat then. The opposing me used the Volt Switch. <laughs> okay, okay, so League was like, I've had enough, I'm out of here. And he let uh, Aureus get up the rocks. Got in his torn, you turn out. Regenerated back up to full, even like he only took 6% from poison, I think. And then he just went for Hornlich with Bulu to get some health on the Among Us. And he makes a double in the Mew and he can defog on the Scissor. But yeah, um, Rox has more PP than defog, so in the long run, Aureus will get up Rox. What are you gonna bring in here? You own Mew again and spam Psychic? Damn. Yeah, Leak sees that he doesn't win this one-on-one, -on -one cause like... Rox has more PP than Devog and he's not really making any progress by staying in. I mean, Ori, he has still leftovers and... Okay, he wasted a will wisp there. Like, Ori eventually has to go for softball, exactly. Giving him League a free turn. League's gonna kind of Voltage into like Torn here. Okay, it goes Bulu. I mean, that gets off the Grassy Terrain, but the Grassy Terrain also helps Aureus. The Mew to stay healthier. But yeah, if this Mew runs out of Psychic, um, this actually works out perfectly for, for League. 
So he also started a psychic PP by going mana gross earlier. Yeah, that makes sense. And going grassy turn back up is um, helps also that mana gross doesn't get will down. Mana gross is just the rocks. Yeah, he didn't go hard mana gross there because HP fire was an option, and you can just you can just defog a roost here. Probably defog first and. Gonna Volt Switch again, I assume. The Bulo are torn. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I can see what the league is doing. Like, if, if the Mew stays in, it just has to softball again. You can get go for the Confusion too. Like, this Mew will eventually run out of softball, is what I'm trying to say. Zapdos also on a timer, shoutouts, burn. You turn into Gastrodon, I assume, which can only get a with burn since this doesn't have toxic, otherwise he would have gone for it. Um, oh, he also, he only showed Roost this game, but he shot, he's he revealed Heat Wave, and the last game that I record was is uh, Well You. Uh, going for Curse is also kind of nice, um, making always waste the Giga Drain PP, because you, you're kind of saying like, I'm a threat, you are threatened, you have to attack me, but he goes for Spore, which is also a fine play in case the Gastron stays in. But yeah, always, Taunt is always the playful league on the Mungus. Like, always a free play, like, a free, like, he doesn't lose anything by making that play. And he can just, um, yeah, okay, he keeps making the Curse play. 12 pp left <laughs> Yeah, this league team is cool. I'll, I'd be down to use this team in life if some passes me this good god I mean I can probably steal it myself if I wanted to Just have to pay some attention and I can figure out the sets. I mean I already know like most of the sets anyway Just from watching the game <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Metagross is a suspect at the moment, so you cannot use this on a suspect ladder. But yeah, you can just replace it with like... <laughs> kinda hard to say on this team. Metagross is so common, dude. It's so, like, it's so splashable, dude. What the fuck? But yeah, we saw in the, the Ori's worth value game why Metagross is stupid. It just hacks us through his checks. But yeah, um, League's gonna Volt Switch again here, it's just repetitive, like this keeps happening, I don't think I have to commentate about it the uh, entire time. Uh, like, in my opinion, League has this game pretty much locked up, like, League is in the driver's seat almost, like he's in the driver's seat the entire time, like I don't, I don't see him losing this. He can try to double on the Mungus even to not waste PP on his Gastrodon, but he can like also click just click Curse or Skull, it doesn't matter, but yeah, he decides to make the double play. And a Guard Shomp, which should be Scarfed. Yeah, okay. So this way he saved the PP on Gastrodon, but he took a little bit of chip on the Guard Shomp, which is not really a big deal, the chip on Guard Shomp, especially because he has grassy terrain. And yeah, he's gonna knock off into U-turn, forcing Zapdos to roost again. Zapdos running low on roost pretty soon. I mean, he can attack, but it doesn't do anything to Gastrodon, so... So yeah, he just roosts, obviously. Because, like, attacking wouldn't do anything, and the Zapdos would be super low, and you would be forced to roost the next turn. And on the next roost, the Gastrodon could go for Earthquake, making the Zapdos just stay low. So he doubles out, operating the Torn, and... I assume the Torn dies to Dragon. I don't know if that's the Dragon Claw, but it dies to. Would that do Rock Slide? As we saw Toxic, okay, this time he goes for Dragon Claw. Leak gets the Bulu in, which um, lets him get Dressage Arena, which helps his Guard Chomp, his Mew, his Gastron. I mean, it also helps Aureus a little bit, but I think it helps Leak a bit more because he has rocks on his side and he doesn't want to get whittled. And yeah, Aureus said GG. I think he realized this doesn't get him anywhere, like he can't break his team and... 
Get some rocks again. I think I'm a bit behind. They're playing kind of fast. Got defog again here. Oh, will whisper again. I'm not really sure if you forfeited yet. League is just spamming Wisp. They are stalling this out of Psychic, I guess. Going for Roost now, yeah. Oh yeah, just spamming Wisp so it doesn't... Waste different PP, I guess. I don't know. You can't just afford to spam his Wisp because he doesn't need his Willow as PP. He already has burned his entire team besides Garchomp, so why would he save the Wisp exactly? He doesn't have heal battle or anything. Like, like yeah, his entire team is status. This is over. Okay, now he goes for Defog again. So he votes, which is out in the Torn, and the Torn is gonna go for you to knock off something like that. U turn. Gets in the Gastrodon, and. You can just click Curse again, predicting that Among Us, and you can just go back into Tornadoes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this was like repetitive, but it was still interesting to see, like... I mean, League... Okay, so I went into Metagross predicting Dragon Claw slash Rock Slash slash Toxic, something along those lines. And yeah, this is what I do now. HP Fire V stays in as he's gonna pivot out into his guard jump and gets predicted on the Ice Punch and that, uh, that's probably the turn where he forfeited. If Leak made that play, yeah, I can completely get Leak's play there. Like, he would've left the U-turn and in case he makes the Metagross play, goes for Ice Punch. Wow. So, congrats to Leak. Nice win. And let me look, let me look over here. As League was on uh, not on easy team, did I say he was an easy team? So Rose got subbed out, I think um always got subbed in, so like mm -mm -mm. the score should be mm -mm. four and two now for the Kavai Kratos Manas was Trin Leaf Thunder. I think Trin Leaf Thunder is Blunder's team, but I'm not 100 percent sure so mm. I'll have to re uh, look that up. You can actually do that real quick if we look it up. Why not? So we have. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, here, here we have all the teams. Maddie Brolic and Obi managing the BBC Kings. Um, P2 and DK managing the heart. Here's some hikers. Uh, FLCL and Kratos Mana managing the Kavai Kratos Manas. Zamok and Bengay managing the NJMP Ninjas. And we have Tokyo Tomen Poik. Oh, okay, I forgot Poik. I thought Poik was on Blunder's team for a second. On the top, so Noctile. Then we have the Twin Leaf Sanas. Yeah, managed by Jirachi and Blunder. Okay, so I got that correct. I didn't get that wrong. Okay, so League picking up a win for Blunder's team here. So they still have. It's 4 and 2, they can still make it 4 4. I think there's 8 games. It's 4 SMOU. It's 4 SMOU. Is it 1 or is it 2 Auras? It's 4 SMOU, 1 XY. It's, I mean, it's Auras. It just says XY. I think it's Auras. Uh, 1 Black White, 1 DPP, and 1 ADP. Okay. So yeah, it's 8. So they can still make it 4 for the Twin Leaf Thunders. Mm -mm -mm. Not sure if there's any more games today, but yeah, I'm getting kind of tired, so I hope they give me a break now and I can chill out. Thank you guys for watching. Um, you already know, you already know, the content is coming. Peace out, friends.